So, today we're gonna see something uh, that was asked a lot uh, in the comments and that is how to make a third person uh, character controller to zoom in into a first person view and back again. Now, this is not going to be about making an uh, FPS controller. Okay, I have a video on that that goes into more detail. Okay, so we're simply going to focus on uh, making the simple switch. Now, the actual controller I'm going to use is uh, it's just an empty game object, which is uh, this one. Okay, just an empty game object which has a capsule collider, edit body. The input handler that we use on uh, the previous videos from the third person shooter uh, uh, videos okay the state manager and the a new script we are going to create and we will see that it's pretty much the same as the player movement we created on the third person shooter controller now i'm going to use the exact same camera rig okay but i'm going to create two separate uh, camera holders, one that is holding the camera holder we're using on the third person shooter series and one we're going to call uh, first person camera holder okay and I'm going to include a weapon inside and I'm also going to uh, level I'm going to zero in uh, both the holder the pivot uh, the holder and the main camera of course okay I'm going to have the zero the Z to zero and pretty much all the other stuff are the same but I have assigned uh, as a target my FPS my FPS controller okay now uh, I'm also going to create since probably there's only going to be one player that uh, changes from a third person uh, controller to a first person controller we can create a new game object okay that is going to handle all the it's going to handle the switching now let's see what uh, actual uh, the actual switch it does and basically what this script does so we need to know we need to have a boolean to say to know if we are on an FPS or not okay and we have uh, a boolean if we are changing the controller but I don't even use that okay so instead of having uh, the transforms as I have for my cameras and the FPS my, for my both cameras I use the state manager since I can take more stuff uh, from there okay since I can take some some variables that I have and we handle all our rotation from there okay since I want I want to take the state manager and I can take the transform from everything else from there okay so the singleton since this is only going to be once okay only one player can change uh, from third person to first person controller okay so this is so that we can call the singleton from the input handler and we're going to do some changes on the input handler too uh, but we're going to see it uh, next time. So on start if we are on an FPS mode we basically need to disable uh, both the third person controller game object and its camera and then enable the FPS controller uh, the game object for the FPS controller in case it, it's not okay if it's not an FPS then we need to and we actually need to add this uh, here too okay so if it's not an FPS co uh, controller then we simply enable the stuff for the third person shooter okay that means the controller and the camera we just enable the game objects and close the game objects that has to do with the FPS part now because whenever I switch on uh, controllers I want to make sure that they both have the exact same position what I do is take the position of 
its object in our case if it's on the FPS it's going to copy it's going to place the third person controller on the exact same position of the FPS controller okay and pretty much the same as uh, if it's a third person if it's enabled the third person controller then it's going to take to fix the position of the FPS controller to be the same as the third person controller now we have two public functions okay and we pretty much if we want to switch to, to FPS we need to pass the look position since we are, hold, we are changing a rotation based on a few uh, based on, on some properties that we populate the state manager with okay so that's why we need to, play, to place a, a, the look position so that we know that we have the correct position that we are looking towards the correct, the correct direction so once more I'm going to since I want to switch to a, an FPS I'm, I need to make sure that uh, the FPS controller okay, is at the same position as the third person controller okay, even though we are doing it over here it doesn't hurt to do it once more and uh, I need to make sure that I also have the same rotation and I need to make sure that uh, the properties from inside the state manager is, uh, is looking towards where I, I want to look so I'm changing the look position from the state manager to be the one I'm passing over here okay now if you have a different controller which you probably have this wouldn't be necessary for your own FPS controller okay then we basically enable the game objects of that we use for the first person controller and which is the controller and the camera okay and then we disable the uh, parts that have to do with the third person controller okay then we say that you know we are on first person so if I need to switch back on uh, the a third person controller I do the same as I have to do with the first person controller okay I change the values from the state manager of the third person controller to pass this now the way we've set up the player movement it takes the loop position and it turns it into direction okay the way we've created the previous scripts uh, pretty much does all the other job uh, it does the job for us so we do not have to worry about it okay since this is a, a third person controller too we can actually change the position of the third person controller so the way the model stands we can actually use the same position as uh, the FPS controller had okay and as for the camera we can pretty much uh, give the same rotation even though uh, the camera pretty much sets itself up uh, it has its own behaviors okay and then the simple thing that we need to do is enable actually enable uh, our controller game object and our camera game object and then disable the FPS controller and the FPS camera game objects and all the stuff and say that we are not in an FPS mode anymore okay so basically oops, basically this is how you switch from FPS to a third person controller okay so this it's pretty simple okay the whole work is how you actually set up uh, your two controls okay now this of course doesn't uh, have any limitations okay you if you want to you, you can make it switch into an RTS or you name it okay we create these games we can do whatever we like so let's see the other changes that have to do uh, with the way we've cre actually created the our controller and the changes I'm going to use. So if you want, if you are following the previous the third-person shooter series and you want to have something like a first-person controller uh, to include it, let's see the FPS controller that I'm using right here even though it's pretty simple it's uh, the input handler that we created on the previous videos and the state manager now on the state manager we do not change anything 
but on the input handler we're going to do a few changes. Now, the new script we are going to create is the FPS movement. I'm calling it FPS movement. Okay, now, well, the thing with this script is that everything you see over here to the exact uh, uh, to the exact word except the handle rotation is the player movement script okay so you take everything okay, copy paste pretty much everything and paste it inside the FPS uh, the new script now I've deleted the input handler Okay, and instead of the input holder, I'm going to use a public transfer FPS camera holder, which is the new camera holder for the FPS controller. Okay, the new camera holder. Like that. Okay, it's this thing. And from the transform, okay, you need to delete also the input handlers, uh, the references we set up from the for the input holder inside the FPS movement, and then where we actually over here the, what we we create the new vectors to uh, basically the points where the direction we want to move. Okay, we were taking that from the input holder, but now we want to take that straight from the FPS camera holder. Okay, pretty simple can get similar to that, that and the only thing left uh, to change is the handle rotation and instead of using uh, the two states the if statement we had over here if we are aiming or not okay pretty much right now we, d we do not care we always want to look toward where the camera is looking okay so it's, it's an FPS so we only need to take our look direction and level the zero uh, level the Y not the zero. Okay, we add to the direction our own transform position, and then we can simply say transform dot look at the look direction we have. Now, of course, this is the simplest of the FPS controllers you can have. Okay, and of course, uh, you can uh, see from the other videos for something more advanced. Now. The difference, the changes we create on the input handler is we've added a new, uh, three new variables basically. The controller switcher is over here and it says get the instance of uh, the controller of the uh, controller switcher, okay, from the singleton. And because I do not know if I want to keep the controller switcher on later videos, I just simply have a it checks if it's null or not, and then if it's not null, it, it enables a boolean that says that we can actually switch. Okay, so we have a public boolean to say if we are on an FPS mode or not. So if we are not on an FPS mode keep doing what we were doing with the camera okay check for camera collisions and update the camera positions but if we are if we are on fps mode we do not care about all, all this stuff okay since a camera probably can never clip through a wall so on handle input then if we can switch now i've added only if i'm pressing f to change the to change from uh, third person to first person. Now, if you want to have the middle mouse button, you can check over here where we change the position, the Z of a camera. You can check. Uh, you can actually put a minimum a minimum Z. So if the camera, if the current Z is lower than the minimum Z, then it switches to an FPS mode. Okay, and uh, put. Uh, the the maximum Z your camera can have put that to be controlled on the middle mouse button but I didn't want to go there so much how you do the switch is entirely up to you okay uh, how you handle on the input side uh, how you do the switch so we can switch okay if I'm pressing the F now 
uh, since I want to pass the direction, the look position, okay, I first have to to take the look position and uh, I'm not using this, I'm not using this, and I'm not using this, so I'm deleting this. So I just simply create array and on the look position is the 20th point upon that ray okay and if we are not in FPS mode then go to the controller switcher and either switch to FPS or to third person shooter okay and that's pretty much it now as far as the on our controller switcher let me unmaximize that and let's hit play so that you can see what I'm actually deleting now you can see that uh, the game is playing okay it has disabled since it's a third person so, uh, controller it has disabled the first person controller okay when you assign the input handler script don't forget to tick the FPS mode and uh, on the FPS camera holder you will see that the actual FPS camera holder it's enabled but the pivot and everything under the pivot it might move around and uh, based on where the camera is looking and let me put that over here since it's not really that important okay it might move around when the camera is looking but it has everything disabled so when I'm doing the switch it's going to just enable the pivot and since the camera is a child of the pivot it's going to enable uh, that too so even if I go wherever I go okay and if I do the switch you see that it's simple the simple thing that it does is enable the third person shooter controller and the third person camera holder okay so it's pretty simple it's not actually it's I think it's uh, one of the simplest things you can do the the work the whole work that it's you know most of, of the work is to actually create the controllers and of course we have both videos for third person controllers and FPS controller so that's it uh, for today If you like the video then get involved like subscribe you can also support me on patreon so you can help me to make even more videos you can also pick up a complete project from the channel on gumroad okay and everything uh, i make from there i put it right back into the videos and we can create more quality and better content so i'll see you next time